right fuzz tool. I call it a fuzz tool. It's called blur or sharpen and the shortcut is V. It's right there. Um, and just blur your stuff together. Don't do too much near the edges because you'll get like a clear line, um, a transparent line in between because you're kind of, sometimes you can blur outside. You think since you're on your shading layer which is transparent on the outside, whoops, on the outside of your thing, it'll just create more. Okay, now for shading you're all done, once you're all done with the body, you can shade your markings. Okay, now select your background layer and come up and get your select tool or, or select closed regions or contiguous and the shortcut for that is Z again. Um, select one of your markings here and again make sure you go to the shading layer I have a hard time doing that when I'm doing large things with lots of small items on them or something oh, and yeah okay the camera's still on I was going to say is the camera still on? Um, oh yeah once I selected that select this back shading um, depending on what you're shading you can do different things um, I'm going to zoom in real quick. So that is my marking there. What happens if I want to add like a special consistency shading to my marking? That's not that hard actually. Um, you can select a different brush for this to create a whole new look. Um, here, see, I can have like spots shaded and then I'll have like these white spots and then I can blur those in if I wanted just like that see create the different consistency there hope you can see I can zoom in another one there there we go um when you make sure when you select go back to your background layer and then when you shade go back that's the one big thing I have trouble with um because it gets extremely annoying on your part because just just because it's really annoying and you have to go back undo it all or something or you just erase it if you have it still selected um, and it's just extremely extremely annoying and pestering there um, I hope I'm not boring you all <laughs> done quick. There we are. And la whoops. La 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 I go up to select and none at the top. If you accidentally select your shading layer you can do this also. Select a none and you're all finished with that part of the tutorial. Sit back and admire your work. Make sure you didn't miss anything. I usually don't shade eyeballs like that, but if they're open and they have no iris or anything in them, you can shade them also. Same way you would do with markings. You can also put glares on them. So if you just like constantly go over this one little spot with your highlights, um, you'll create a really cool highlight effect. This is what I'll show you this later in my hair shading tutorial. But, okay. Okay. Right? You think you're done, but we have to save it. And you have to save shading templates a certain way, otherwise you can't upload them. Unless, you can also do this in Photoshop. If you're really experienced, you can transfer it to Photoshop. Now we have to delete your lovely line art and color layer. You might want to keep it, but I do not keep it. Because it will get merged with your shading, and then you won't have your shading anymore. You'll just have this picture. You couldn't use it. So, we delete your shading. Um, I mean, not your shading. <laughs> you don't want to delete your shading. We want to delete the background layer. You can do this by selecting background and hitting this delete layer button, or by right clicking up here and going up to delete layer. That, there you go, right there. And that's my final result. And again, there you are. That's the final result. You're all done. 
but you gotta save it. So file, save as. This message uh, won't come up on yours, hopefully. If it does, just ignore it. It's just extremely annoying. It's harmless. It's completely, completely harmless. Now, name your shading, like, don't name it just shading, because you're gonna, probably gonna be doing a little bit more than just this one piece. So, um, you wanna keep, like I was saying, you wanna keep your original name, probably, and just name it shading on the back, and you wanna save it as a .png. Um, they, you can't save file extensions by selecting this. You have to actually type .png after your title, so type, like, Mine is one mutations, and this would be shading, so I type shading, no mutations, and then um, a dot .png after it, and you can just hit save. Um, no, I don't want to, yeah, sure, why not, it's probably better. <laughs> um, here we are. Um, you don't have to mess with this, just make sure this is not like at 6 or something, keep it up to 9 at the maximum. You don't have to do anything of this, just make sure to save background color, save resolution, save created time, save comment, save color values from transparent pixels. I don't care <laughs> that you just don't have to do anything, just make sure that's a 9. Click OK. And you're ready to go. Now all you have to do is just upload it. You can upload it on PhotoBucket, DeviantArt. Pretty much anywhere that you can upload stuff um, on .png. Um, thank you for watching. You've been watching my my lady threes actually, which is me, shading shading tutorial on how to shade the body of a creature. Next time we'll be doing shading hair, feathers, and eyes. And that's it. Um, so have fun with your, your new shading. Try it out, get used to it, and, um, bye. See you later. See you next time. Oh, I see you, but next time.